In this session, we are going to cover the topic specially related to min-max scalar where we will see how the data is transformed after applying the min-max scalar. We already, I have already shown in the session number 22nd using a, how we convert the data using min-max scalar. So first of all, a min-max scalar is like one of the most famous scaling algorithm and we use this formula xi minus minimum of that particular column divided by maximum value of that column minus minimum value of that particular column. What min-max scalar will do? It will essentially shrink the range such that the range is between either minus 1 or plus 1 in case if there are negative value or it will be between 0 and 1. And min-max scalar works very well in case where standard scalar is not able to perform well. And please note min-max scalar works better in the case where distribution is not Gaussian or the standard deviation is very small. That I will be showing you in this example. Again, min-max scalar has some limitation like it is sensitive to outliers. In case if we have outliers, then we can consider uh, other algorithms like robust scalar to scale our data set. If we can visualize the effect of data transformation, once we apply min max scalar, then it will be very easy to understand what we are trying to achieve. So in this session, we learn how to graphically visualize how the data is transformed both in the two dimensional and the three dimensional graph after min max scaling algorithm is applied. So let's start, I have this uh, libraries, we will import pandas, numpy, preprocessing from sklearn, matplotlib, cbon and this special library like mpl underscore toolkits dot mpload uh, 3d which import the three dimensional axis and I have this data set which contains three columns. So if you see the values are as such, I have taken this randomly, I have generated this data set based on the value. If I want to convert this data set, okay, so what I will do is scalar is equals to processing dot min max scalar I'm creating the object of this and then scaled underscore df which is equal to scalar dot fit underscore transform and then I'll pass this and then scale underscore df okay so what I will do I'll execute this two line and if I see scale underscore df what is the value can see the value will be between 0 and 1. What we will do, we will see graphically how it happens, how it works. So what we will do, first we will define a figure and then we will give 4b1, 4b2. These are the two figure which where it will be before uh, and after ELT dot subplots which I have already subplots I have already shown in my previous section. Number of colons uh, is equal to 2, comma, big size and take SIZD is equal to give 7 7 minus 4b1 dot will give the set title okay which will be before before scaling and that we will plot it based on the KD plot which is based on the linear uh, like normal distribution of the data set KD plot okay now what we'll do we'll we'll try to execute just these three lines and we'll see what it contains okay the size is quite big we'll take it as Okay, you can see like uh, the third, uh, the second column is quite is the deviation is quite high, whereas the first and the third column is quite okay. Now what we will do, we'll plot it, we'll copy this entire okay, and then scale underscore after min max scaling, we'll apply this okay, and here it will be ob2 because this is the second figure where we want it to be printed, not in the first figure. So we will. Now we'll take start from here and we'll print this. So we can see the data is not coming. Scale underscore df is not a data frame. So first we have to convert it into a data frame. Scale underscore df is equal to d dot data frame and then we'll give scale df comma columns is equal to okay. So you can see after the transformation, my data is converted very nicely and we can see that the skewness of the distribution is maintained for the three columns like column x1 and x2 and x and they are overlapping each other. So this is the way we, we transform the data using min max scalar. You can see here the this 
value is not overlapping but in this case the value is over overlapping from my, uh, 0, 0.0 to 1.0 it is not reaching any it, it does not have any uh, different uh, region all of the all the three columns is lying within the same region right now if we want to see how the data performs okay like if you want to see how my pld dot scatter uh, interacts between x1 in column and x x1 and x2 okay plt dot scatter will give like this and then df of x1 comma df of x2 okay comma further is equals to 3 this is my initial data once the transformation is done then this will be scale underscore here So once the transformation is done, how will be my data? Where is my original data and where is my transformed data? That we will see and it will be visible very nicely. So, okay, we will change this color. See, this is the original data, df, and this is the scale data, scaled underscore df. So this is how the value is lying between my uh, 0 and 1 and here the value is lying between the original boundary. So this is the use of and why we uh, do why we use scaling because the algorithm the machine learning algorithm will read only in the radius of the where the euclidean distance will be from between zero uh, radius of one unit okay so in that case if we have a very large value it will be very tough for that algorithm to read so in order to make it uh, efficient we have to convert it using the the scaling method any of the scaling method which is suitable for that respective data set now, further if we want to see how it will uh, behave in case of three dimensional, whatever I have shown till now, it is two dimensional data set. Now, how it will behave in case we have a three dimensional data set. So, similarly, we will get figure is equals to plt dot figure. Figure size is nothing but we will say 8, comma 6. Okay. And after that, ob3 is equals to plt equals to figure dot add subplot and we we'll give one to one these are the parameters for projections and all projection is equal this what we are trying to do here we are trying to map the three values is the three dimension of a data set dimension x dimension y and dimension z is nothing but the column x1 x2 and x3 so we are just going to represent the data in the three dimension comma scale underscore df x2 column x2 will come followed by comma underscore df uh, then column x followed by will give further is equals to and then give pld dot show let's see what will happen okay here it should be equal to the data is not coming here it is an empty so we are missing something Let's see what we are here. It should be OB3, comma OB4. Because I have defined the object as OB3 and OB4 and I'm plotting with OB1 and OB2. Let's see now. Yes, we'll give the color here as so that it is pretty much visible very nicely. So we are not confused with that. So you can see if in this is the first figure, okay, wherein we can see the range of the data from 0 to 30 here and for y and z axis is also the different but in case of this transform data where our data is mapped in blue color you can see the data varies from 0 till 1 for all the axes for x axis for y axis and for z axis for the three different axes so in this case the data lies in this very confined region in this case the data is like from 0 till 30 and we have range from y axis till 40 and for z axis more than 60 so this is a bit uh, like different from other algorithm but but visually if we try to understand we will we can get the understanding okay so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please subscribe to this uh, channel and also press the like button i'll see you in the next video thank you